Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to Yahakim, pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. I'm back with another lesson. <clears throat> Today, we're going to touch on an article. We're going to go into uh, this is from CBS News, actually, NBC News. It says Pittsburgh eviction notice turns into shootout and standoff with authorities. A heavy police presence took over the area in the city's Garfield neighborhood as shots have been heard uh, intermittently over two hours. All right, so we're gonna read a little bit of that, grab some scriptures because <laughs> you remember uh, Klaus Schwab, you can look him up if you don't know who that is, said, prepare for an angrier world, man. All right, things are getting tight. Uh, a lot of people are having money problems, money issues. The money is being devalued and inflated. The system is looking bad. Banks are being downgraded. Uh, it, <laughs> this place is, is literally circling the drain, man. You just had the bricks come out with a conference the other day. I got to check into what's going on with that. But good old America ain't looking good, man. Right. But you're going to see more, more outbursts, more people riled up, more people ready to revolt because hey, their standards of living is on the chopping block, man. It's going to be majorly uh, re reduced, right? So let's get into this. It says an eviction notice turned into an active shooting standoff in Pittsburgh Wednesday after a man opened fire at a sheriff's deputy. Deputies went to serve the notice in the city's Garfield neighborhood when the man turned violent and began shooting. According to a statement from the Lakeney Sheriff's Office, Pittsburgh Public Safety uh, asking people to avoid the area just after 11 a.m. local time. The heavy police presence remains in the area as shots have been heard intermittently over two hours. Officers have evacu evacuated people from the houses in the area, Pittsburgh Public Safety said. So violence is another, a violence is, is a big part of prophecy, man, right? Thus, with violence, shall Babylon be destroyed ultimately through the missiles and how Bashem Howard Shai coming back with the angels and chariots. But leading up to it, guess what? Hey, this place is going to be full of violence, you know, that purge spirit, you know, uh, fuck it, I gotta take it, you know, my back is against the wall, so I'm gonna just lash out. That type of mindset is going to be very prevalent in these uh, last, last days. It says one sergeant, uh, sergeant uh, sustained a minor, minor non-gunfire injury while avoiding the incoming gunfire. The sheriff's office confirmed no other injuries have been reported. The man barricaded inside shot down two law enforcement drones <laughs> during the standoff. So they sent drones up and he shot them down. It sounds like a dystopian movie, man. Something in the future, right? Because, you know, a lot of people are going to be put out of these uh, apartments these houses you know it's going to be so many to the point where uh law enforcement is not they're going to have to stop uh enforcing it and that's really when the system is going to collapse and they're going to bring in something new they have to, they're going to have to put everybody on the so-called go government dole which is a setup for the market of beasts right the universal basic income is going to have to play a part in that and uh and it's all and all roads lead to uh, a, a that chip, man, an implantable chip, a digital currency that's going to be used to buy and sell. Uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much the point, you know. Let's uh, let's grab some scriptures. First scripture I'm gonna grab is uh, Book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 12, verse 5, verse 3. It says, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out the windows be darker. There ain't no future. There ain't no hope. I was watching a video the other day where you, heard, you had all these, uh, I think it was Generation Z, whatever it is, after millennials, basically they were talking about... Uh, reasons why they will never join the armed forces that's why that draft is coming back they're going to bring that draft back because <clears throat> people don't see any hope or a future in the society man and that's and that makes for a very dangerous society 
It says, And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and they shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And when they shall be afraid of that which is on high, and the fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and the desire shall fail, because man go off to his long home, and mourners go about the street. So you're going to see more chaos, more rioters, more violence, more people putting, being put in uncomfortable situations, which is going to lead to what? Crime and violence, man. Major crime, major violence. Um, let's go into 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them, and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Modern day sword uh, is going to be that gun, man. Here in America, uh, where you still have gun rights, uh, they have they keep it a tally or calculation that, you know, uh, gun sales, ammo sales have been at all time highs, man. All right. <clears throat> so people are going to put those guns to use. <laughs> As you can see, them firing back at the police coming to kick them out. Because what? They're getting evicted. Why? They, they Probably for, for non-payment, man. Can't afford their rent anymore. Shit, three, four grand for a fucking studio apartment now. Things are ridiculous. It says, uh, <clears throat> For this will be sedition among men, invading one another. There shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and man shall be afraid. So <clears throat> we're on the edge of really living these prophecies spoken about in uh, Second Ezra. All right. <clears throat> we're in the midst of that, in the beginning of that. OK, because uh, and we're at a tipping point, a boiling point. Where <clears throat> as, as things get progressively uh, worse in the economy, people are just going to lose it, man. Just lose it. Rioting, ramsacking stores, you know, things are going to go out of business. They're attempting to bring back uh, the restrictions from the, uh, you know, CV19. So all these things are part of the agenda and are on the table. Just like Klaus Schwab said, prepare for an angrier world, man. All right. <clears throat> you can see that wherever you go, man. Everybody's ticked off. Everybody got a fucking attitude because a hey, <laughs> hey, happy days hey, aren't here, man. Uh, what else I got? Let's stay in second Ezra. Second Ezra six and 22. It says, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear, and those that dwell therein, the springs of a fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation. Whose salvation? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Salvation, which is to whom? The Israelites, you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the ones that can repent. You are the ones that can be saved in these end days, man. All right. These heathen nations are going to be a, a be put down, man. <laughs> right. And in the, in the process of process of that happening, guess what? You're going to have violence and bloodshed leading up to that judgment day. It says, uh, whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. Right. Whose world? When you read back up, you read about uh, Esau is the end of the world. Who is Esau? You know who Esau is, man. If I got to tell you who Esau is in 2023, man, uh, something wrong. Let's keep going. Uh, let's end it right here. This is Matthew chapter 24 and uh, 6. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, right? So... We all know what's coming up and what's leading, what's leading to this World War Three, this war war, you know, China, Russia, uh, North Korea, so on and so forth, forth. Uh, these powers coming up against the West, man. 
these things are going to happen. These, these nuclear missiles are going to be shot. And it's going to play out. It says, but all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Right? All these are the beginning of sorrows. Meaning, hey, this place is about to go down. And if you don't realize that, I don't know what to tell you, man. And a lot of brothers have been, been, uh, been uh, reporting on that uh those restrictions coming back man and and if you if you look it up you know mass restrictions a whole bunch of places is already enforcing them you know <clears throat> so the uh, video i put up about a couple days ago dealing with alex jones and his sources hey we'll see what happens when it get close to october november if it's happening in mass but it looks like hey it's true and this is it man gird up because if they put this stuff and close downs and lockdowns and turn off the economy one more time at this moment, that is freaking it, man. <laughs> it's already on life support and they're getting ready to pull that plug. So really consider the time. Understand that the times are evil. Make sure you, you know, you watching around, see what's going around because people are out their damn mind right now, man. All right. People are on fucking edge and I can notice it and I can sense it. And I'm sure many of you can notice and sense that. Hey, but that's the point. I want to give all glory, praises and honors to you. How about Shimei Shai? Shalom the next time.